Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. 8,000 feet beneath my feet, there's enough lithium to power America's electric car industry into the foreseeable future. There is a treasure potentially worth billions of dollars. He takes us to a remote part of California near the border with Mexico. In a billion dollar project promising to transform this region. Now, what some people are calling California's Lithium Valley is an economic and environmental wasteland. But it could be on the cusp of a boom like this area hasn't seen in 60 years. It's not like there was any big secret. It's not like people didn't know there was lithium in the groundwater here before. It just wasn't worth enough to bother getting it out. But now with lithium prices going through the roof, companies that before were just concentrating on geothermal energy are seeing even more potential in the metal that's in the water. Geothermal companies like Energy Source, that has operations in the southern tip of the Salton Sea and is modifying its facilities for lithium extraction. Why is there so much lithium in the ground here? So geologically, this is uh, you know an interesting place. Colorado River has cut canyons in the west. All of that mineral, all of those deposits have, have made their way here. I have heard that there is theoretically at least enough lithium in this area to supply all the electric cars in America for some time. There certainly is a lot of lithium um, potential here at the Salton Sea. You could, uh, you could calculate approximately, you know, a little over 100,000 tons per year of lithium, you know, battery products. That's quite a lot and certainly more than the U.S. consumes right at the moment. I think there's a realistic opportunity to, to potentially double that. Geothermal facilities will use a method of extraction where they will both create geothermal power and collect the valuable lithium from the hot brine deep below. This involves drawing the lithium from the brine after it has completed its journey to help produce electricity. It's clean energy making clean energy. And the kind of investment and opportunity that could transform a region that only a half century ago was full of such promise. This is the story of the miracle sea in the desert, the Salton Sea. If you, were, if you came here during the 50s and 60s, you will find most likely people from Hollywood, the luminaries uh, from Southern California coming to uh, boat and uh, playing golf. And only 50 years later, this is what we have. It went from being the Western Riviera to being one of the worst nightmares, envir environmentally and uh, public health-wise. What happened? We started losing water. The water became more saline. There were massive fish die-offs. We have more water being evaporated, leaving more salt behind and other elements. The sea is, is, an, is an example of what is happening uh, pretty much all around the West. While the geothermal companies are ramping up testing and facilities for regular lithium production, automakers from around the country are visiting the area and staking claim. The automaker says it plans to be carbon neutral by 2040. If automakers hope to fulfill their EV ambitions over the next decade, some, like General Motors, are cutting deals with local geothermal companies as a way to ensure their lithium supply chains. Mary Burrow's leadership and more the sustainability side and localising of minerals per the federal administration really advanced that relationship. So, you know, stage one is a 20,000 tonne per year lithium hydroxide facility, which will go to General Motors. And uh, beyond stage one, we're looking at another 100,000 for stage two. And you would then ship that to a battery manufacturer? Yes, so at the moment there's no real sort of uh, the precursor or cathode manufacturers in the United States. So currently that would be the case, which is a bit of a crying shame, I mean, to put it on a truck, put it on a ship, send it to South Korea or China and then send it back as a, as a, as a cathode active material. The opportunity really is the blank canvas out here to, to co-locate those facilities uh, it would make, uh, make commercial sense. And that opportunity is quickly being fulfilled. 
Already, Italvolt has announced plans to build a massive battery production facility in the valley that could supply batteries for up to 650,000 EVs a year and create possibly 2,500 jobs in the area. What are your fears in terms of if it's not done right? How could it be done wrong? Not being able to provide the benefits you know they are uh, they claim to, or well, at least you know they're promising to provide, and the kind of jobs you know for the community, direct and indirect benefits to the Salton Sea. If all the conditions are played correctly, this can be really good for the economy. This can be really good for the region nationwide. It can be a, a, a catalyst if it is done right. It can be really good. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.